Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. This is going to be a fun video. Going to take a look at some football cards, which is not something that I do often, uh, but I do have a small football collection. And uh, specifically today, we're going to look at a few Tom Brady cards. And I know I'm probably going to catch some uh, flack for this very uh, controversial uh, personality in uh, football history. But I live in New England. Uh, I'm obviously biased. was able to enjoy uh, that Patriots dynasty and that amazing run in the uh, Brady and Belichick era. And so I've been a fan of Brady. And while I don't collect football cards for the most part, uh, nor basketball, I do dabble from time to time. And I'm much more selective uh, when I buy cards from those sports. But I do uh, try to pick up some singles and, and have some of the greats. So uh, in today's episode, we're going to look at a handful of Brady's that I've picked up recently. Uh, we're also going to see how those translate or cross over to cards from other sports um, that I enjoy collecting, which is a topic that I love as well. And then at the end, I have one really cool, um, very unique Tom Brady related item to uh, reveal in the video as well. Um, so let's get into the cards. Uh, the two that are up in the background there, you've seen in the past. Um, but I just wanted to have something up while I got through the intro. Um, as I said, don't collect a ton of football. I have probably fewer than 10 Tom Brady cards total, which is fine. Um, that's kind of how I like it. Uh, but I, I really enjoy the few that I have. And the first one that we're going to look at today was actually a throw-in um, from a very generous seller. Purchased a Brady card a couple of years back or a few years back. That was like a mid-range card. And included with it was this base card from a set called Infinity. And immediately I, you know, loved it just because it's acetate. And if you've uh, tuned into the channel here with any frequency, uh, then you probably know I'm a confessed lover of all acetate cards, but it's got a really wild design element going on as well. This this almost looks to me like a, a card that would have come out of the 90s. Uh, really dig it. I think this is just the base card, believe it or not. Don't know anything about this set. Again, I'm not really a football collector. Uh, but it has kind of a high-end feel to it. Um, this throw-in just came like in a top loader, but um, kind of sat in a box for a few years and recently uh, ran across it, looked into it, and found out this is, I think, like a $30 to $40 Tom Brady card um, nowadays. So yeah, not one that I picked up on purpose. Uh, it's from 2016 Panini Infinity, uh, but I will gladly welcome it to the very small Tom Brady collection nonetheless. That was the first one. That uh, looks cool with some backlighting there. Um, and now we're going to get into some of that cross-sport appeal that I talked about in the hobby. So uh, in a recent video, I uh, showed the sale that I did or talked about the sale that I did of over 50 graded cards in a lot um, to a buyer off eBay. Um, included a big Jackie Robinson card. So you, you can go back and watch that video if you want. But point being, um, came out of that with some money in the war chest. And one of the things I decided to do is add a couple of Tom Brady cards. Um, and the ones that I've added here, there are three total, they fit the theme of linking to other sports. Um, the first one is going to be an Upper Deck Exclusives Parallel. Um, now, I've shown these in the past, and here's an example, um, primarily from hockey. Um, these go all the way back to the late 90s, and they're still made today. Um, they're just parallels of the flagship Upper Deck card, uh, serial numbered out of 100 with some type of an exclusives uh, notation on it. So I love the longevity of these parallels going back uh, about 25 years now. Um, and I love, you know, the serial numbering to 100 or less. I'm, I'm kind of an addict for it. Um, and I love the cross sport appeal. Now, Upper Deck obviously can't make football cards today. Uh, Panini has the sole license to produce, you know, NFL football cards or NFL trading cards, I should say. Um, but back in the day, um, they were able to make them. So I found my first and so far only Tom Brady Upper Deck Exclusives. It's from 2006. Check it out. Um, and this one is in a BGS slab, which is not my favorite slab type. Um, they would be kind of fourth on the list for me uh, behind PSA, SGC, and CSG. However, um, those that are player collectors know, especially all-time great players like this, um, cards that are numbered to 100 or less of this caliber player, you kind of just have to take what you can get. Um, if and when you find one. Um, at the time that I purchased this, uh, a few weeks back now, I think this was the only Upper Deck Exclusives Tom Brady available on eBay from any year uh, and any greater. At least, you know, that was a reasonable price. Uh, this card wasn't cheap, but it wasn't expensive either. 
Um, you can see here it's copy 23 of 100, apologies for the lighting, and it does have that Upper Deck Exclusives gold foil on the right border. So just love that uh, cross-sport appeal of getting my superstars from the game of hockey in uh, Upper Deck Exclusives parallels and then uh, having a superstar from the world of football in a matching parallel. Really miss those days uh, where brands could, uh, or multiple brands could produce the same sport uh, before the monopolies that we're living with now. And one of my favorite things about that was getting that cross-sport appeal on cardboard. So pretty awesome. This is my first, um, well, actually it's not, I shouldn't say that. It's it's my first Brady serial numbered to 100. Um, I have one other serial numbered Tom Brady card, and it's actually this select card in the background here is uh, serial numbered to 99. So those represent my only two uh, serial numbered Tom Brady cards, but I'm really happy with those two. Um, I think that's a sneaky good card. I can tell you um, chasing down the exclusives parallels for the hockey superstars uh, like the McDavid's and the Ovechkin's of the world is very, very difficult. And I think football obviously has a better following uh, and a bigger collector following and demand than hockey does. And uh, Brady, you know, being arguably, at least in my opinion, the greatest of all time, uh, not very easy to track those down. So I'm really happy uh, to allocate some of the funds from the Jackie sale uh, to pick that up. And then the, uh, the other type of card that I have is another one that I've talked about frequently on the channel, and it is Topps Gold. Uh, so Topps had a football license as well back in the day. I think theirs lasted through maybe 2015, I want to say, but I could be wrong. I'm not, again, not a football collector for the most part, um, but they produced gold parallels just like they do in baseball, serial numbered to year of release. And I've picked up two Tom Brady's so far in uh, matching PSA 9. So I got the 2012, nice uh, photo there. Really love the photograph, clean design. Um, and there's a lot of like, I don't know if the lighting will really show it, but this banner down here contains a lot of like stamped or pressed foil work, which really looks kind of classy. Um, I don't know if the base cards have that as well. You can kind of see it here a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if the base cards have that as well or if that's only the gold cards. Maybe somebody could let me know uh, who is a football collector in the comments, but um, great one here. And again, just serial numbered, obviously not as low as the exclusives card. You can see on the back, it's copy 1909 of 2012. Look at all that red and italics, just awesome stuff. So um, not gonna turn into a full-blown football collector anytime soon, but um, just being a Patriots fan again and living through that dynasty, I mean, it, it was, insane. What, whatever your feelings are about the man, I'm not sure we're ever going to see anything like that again. Um, I think, you know, in his time with the Patriots, 18 seasons, I think they won the division 17 times uh, and, you know, only lost it once, uh, which is insane. Uh, obviously brought six Super Bowl titles to New England and then another one to the Tampa Bay area uh, before hanging up the spikes. So just really happy to have Tom Brady at least a little bit better represented in my collection here. I have one other Topps Gold, and this one I like even more uh, for a couple of reasons. It's the 2010 Topps Gold. Uh, the two reasons I'm a bigger fan of this one than the 2012, um, he won an MVP this year, and I'm a huge fan of MVP year cards uh, or cards that represent you know MVP seasons for players, um, usually in baseball and hockey. But again, dipping into uh, football here, this seemed like a cool one to get. Love the photograph here against the Falcons. Uh, Brady coming up to the line, uh, about to take the ball. And uh, as we can see on the back, this time in the lower left corner, numbered out of 2010. So I love the continuity of Topps Gold, even though obviously they don't make these anymore. Uh, but at the time, I love that they were producing these for both football and baseball. And uh, recently, just to kind of drive that point home, I'd shown off this Ken Griffey Jr. card, uh, also in gold, that I picked up for cheap on eBay. It was like 10 bucks. Um, but I love this. I miss this so much. Like, it is just really, really cool to have the same card design and the same parallel, uh, but featuring Tom Brady and Ken Griffey Jr. You know, two of the biggest names in sports from the last 50 years. Um, I don't think anybody can argue that. And I, I just really, really dig that continuity. Maybe we'll see something like that again in the Fanatics era in the future. Um, who knows? But for now, happy to go back into the past and kind of recapture some of that. Um, right down to, if you notice the silver foil here, on uh, the upper right on the Brady card, we've got 55 years of collecting. And then you've got 50 years of collecting on the baseball card. 
Oh, I'm sorry, 60. I'm not sure what the difference is there. Typical tops, but um, just really cool uh, to see the greats on that similar design. So picked up those two gold Brady's and the, uh, the Upper Deck exclusives. Those are the three new additions. And then as promised at the outset, I have one really cool item. Don't think I've ever shown this on the channel. I may have shown it on a guest appearance, possibly on another channel, although I don't believe I did. Uh, but anyway, Brady first rose to prominence, obviously, during that 2001 season. Uh, he became the starter after the Bledsoe injury, led the team to the playoffs, and then won that miraculous Super Bowl um, in 2002, February of 2002. First Super Bowl in uh, Patriots history and uh, kicked off you know, the legacy and, and the franchise and the dynasty that was to come uh, over the next, you know, 15 or so years. And that Super Bowl, I still remember where I was uh, at my girlfriend's uh, mom's house at the time. She's now my wife um, sitting around. And I still remember that Vinatieri kick going through the uprights. Uh, we in Ma At the time, we lived in Massachusetts. So um, just an amazing moment um, in sports that I still um, can remember and think back on. It's definitely one of the few you know, you remember exactly where you were moments um, that I can think of in my lifetime as a sports fan. So I wanted to commemorate that with something special. And this is something that I bought uh, maybe four or five years ago now. So I don't know if these have gone up in price since, but I was amazed to get this at the price that I did. And so after all the gabbing, let's just get to it. It is a Super Bowl ticket authenticated from the Super Bowl um, that I'm speaking of here. You can see the date on the bottom, February 5th. 2002, the Louisiana Superdome in New Orleans. And as you tilt this ticket, it changes from the Vince Lombardi trophy to the field uh, with the United States flag on it pregame uh, from probably a prior Super Bowl, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. But these are really cool. Um, at the time I bought this, it was surprisingly cheap. Uh, really cool piece of uh, memorabilia and kind of football history. I think I like this piece actually better than my actual cards of Tom Brady. I just think it's really, really neat. Um, haven't really gone down the ticket rabbit hole too much, but I could see myself uh, going there in the future potentially. Uh, but for now, this is the only football ticket that I have uh, at least graded. I have tickets from when I've gone to games myself, uh, but this is the only graded or authenticated uh, football ticket that I have. And it's from the most memorable and uh, meaningful Super Bowl of my lifetime as a football fan here in New England. So that is a wrap on today's video. Something a little bit different. I don't get into a ton of football here on the channel and I don't plan to in the future. Don't get the wrong idea, uh, but thought this would make for a fun installment. And I know a lot of folks out there who are heavily into football cards. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this. I certainly appreciate you stopping by. And as you know, I'll be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Till then, take care and keep enjoying the hobby, everybody. See ya.